crack. And also RIP to Jerry Springer, man. It's just two legends. We lost two legends this last week. Oh, man. Jerry Springer, man. I'm so... Man. I'm hurt by that, man. I'm hurt by that. Man, man, man. Legend. I'm hurt by that. Yeah, he... he uh. He did a lot for the for, for he did a lot for the community, man. It's just, I mean, not going to school, staying home, watching him and Maury back to back was some of the most epic shit. That was just like, yeah, you stayed home to watch Jerry. Yeah, you stayed home to watch Jerry. I fake school. sick, uh, fake being sick for this for for the bro. Word. I, I was fake sick for Maury. Jerry Springer was just the icing on the cake. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I remember the first time I found out he was a mayor. Did y'all y'all remember that? Like, remember when finding out he was the mayor of Cincinnati? Crazy. I just knew he was Jerry Springer, and I didn't realize like, oh shit, my man was a politician at one point. Crazy, legendary, legendary episodes, bro. Like, just to name a few. Y'all remember when he had the KKK up there? Remember that shit. He had the KKK up there fighting the Jews. <laughs> it was insane, bro. You don't see shit like that on TV no more, bro. First of all, you probably can't do that, but <laughs> I mean, remember he had he had the on tongue the, on the episode on the episode where Shorty found out the nigga was black. That's right, Jerry. I have something to tell the girl I love. Oh, okay. All right, let's bring out Tracy. Yeah. Tracy, you know I love you so much, oh. but I have a confession to make. I'm black. You're what? John, how come you didn't tell me you were black, you lying son of a b oh. You know how much I hate n My family hates n Oh, you disgusting. Oh. You, didn't, you, you didn't see that he was black? Jerry, I never even noticed. I was so totally in love. Oh. <laughs> I got something to tell you, baby. I'm black. Shorty ran up off the seat like, what? What? You're what? You're what? <laughs> that nigga was Wesley Snipes' dog. <laughs> uh, legendary moments, man. The Kung Fu Hillbilly. Right now, I want you to know when he comes out here. Yeah. That I do. I watch a lot of Chucky Norris and Jane Claude Van Damme movies. My VCR. Yeah. And on your VCR, on you my VCR. Yeah. And in front of my mirror, I've practiced it and I've studied it a great deal. And I've got this down pat. Now he comes out here acting a fool. I'm gonna kung fu him. And all you big boys, just stay back. And let me do my thing. All right? Okay. My man, who who is? I think he had like a. I think it was his younger brother that was bullying. I think his name was Lil Wayne too. No relation. He had a younger. A younger brother that was bullying him, so he was just studying John Claude Van Damme and like Bruce Lee videos for like a month. He said, learning karate, doing it in the mirror, doing shit. And then one day he was just like, "Yo, I'm about to kick his ass." So of course Jerry, he was like, "Well, your brother's backstage now. Bring out Lil Wayne. <laughs> if you bring him out here, I'm gonna kung fu his ass." Oh man, R.I.P. to a legend, man. Jerry Springer. The day more we go, though, I'm crying. Oh, man. Come on, now. Knock on, knock on something. I ain't want to, you know what I mean? I ain't want to say what you should knock on, but knock on something. Knock on the paternity test. <laughs> knock on the paternity test. Word. You are, you are the father. Stand clear of the closing doors, please.